Today we are going to learn about queue data structure. So what exactly is a queue? Imagine a line of people waiting for a bus. The first person to arrive is the first one to get on the bus. And as more people join the line, they stand behind the last person. This exactly is what queue is. In programming, a queue is an order collection of elements where the addition of new number happens at one end which is known as rear or back of the queue and the removal of the elements occurs at the other end which is known as front of the queue. It follows the FIFO principle which stands for first in first out. So the first one to come would be the first one to get out of the queue. Adding a new element is called in queue which takes a value as input. So let's say we want to add a new number 5 then we call in queue 5 function. Similarly if we want to add number 7 then we will call in queue 7 function. And lastly we will call in queue 9 to insert number 9 in our queue. Now to remove numbers from the queue we call the DQ function which doesn't take any argument as it always removes the first element from the front of the queue. So in this queue if we call DQ the first element in the front of the queue is 5 which will get removed from the queue and then the remaining elements will get adjusted and number 7 will become the front of the queue. Again calling DQ will remove number 7 from the queue and number 9 will become the front of the queue and then if we call DQ again Again, then it will be removed from the queue and our queue will become empty. Let's look into a code example. In this code, we define a class called queue and then in the init method, we initialize an empty list to store the element of queue. The nQ method takes an item as a parameter and appends it at the end of the queue. The dq method first checks if the queue is empty or not. If it is not, then it will return and remove the item from the front of the queue. If the queue is empty, then it will simply print that queue is empty. Then we have a function called is empty which will check if the list is empty or not and then in the last we have one more function called size which will return the number of element currently available in the queue this is it with queue data structure if you like this video then don't forget to like subscribe and share it with your friends